What's up, folks? It's your buddy, Fatal Roadie. Tonight, we're going to do a SmackDown review. We started off with a recap of the Money in the Bank ladder match. And it's announced that Charlotte Flair will be here in the brand-to-brand -brand invitational, in other words. Wild card, bitches! Yeah! What? We then cut to the ring where an episode of Miz TV, Otis comes out. The Miz condescendingly congratulates Otis on winning Money in the Bank. Miz and Morrison run down Otis. The Miz says he wants Tucker out here because he wants a tag match. Otis says that Tucker isn't there because he's got Disenberry from the Oregon Trail. The Miz says he doesn't care. Go find one. So that match is going to be later on tonight. It's then announced that Sami Zayn was stripped of the IC title. So we're going to have a tournament for it, which will include Daniel Bryan, Drew Gulag, King Corbin, Elias, Jeff Hardy, Sheamus, Shinsuke Nakamura, and AJ Styles from Raw. What? Um, hello? We then go to our first match, Elias versus King Corbin in the Intercontinental Tournament. This is a eh match. It was a plotting match, as most of Baron Corbin's matches are. Elias won with a surprise roll-up. Shocker, because that's mostly what everything happens anymore. We then have a brief glimpse of the hacker. Still nothing going on there. Backstage, Otis tries to find a partner. He asks Sheamus. Says no. Asks Braun Strowman. Strowman thinks that it's going to be a ruse just to get him in the ring. Otis says no. I need a partner. Braun Strowman says he'll think about it. We then have Dana Brooke versus Naomi. This is a quick match. Dana Brooke reverses Naomi, gets the pin. And it's funny, they cut right when Naomi was about to say, what the fuck? And we got a recap of the Becky Lynch pregnancy announcement. And we're in hour two, so that means that Charlotte Flair is going to come out to talk. She says that being she's on Raw, NXT, and now SmackDown, that people want to see more Charlotte Flair. Nope. No, we don't. No, one show's good enough. She hypes herself up as only a Flair can. Sasha Banks and Bailey come out. They run down Charlotte Flair, and Charlotte Flair fires back at him. Bailey tells Flair to go back to Raw or SmackDown. Doesn't matter, just GTFO. Flair tells Bailey that Sasha Banks is the only reason that Bailey is relevant. Flair talks up Banks. Bailey challenges Flair to a match. She accepts. Charlotte Flair asks Sasha Banks if she enjoys being Bailey's lackey. That match with Flair and Bailey is going to be next week. Should be decent. We then have Daniel Bryan versus Drew Gulag in an Intercontinental Tournament. This is a really good technical match from both competitors. There was one spot where Drew Gulag did a modified Michinoku driver and it looked nasty as hell. Daniel Bryan got the heel hook onto Gulag. Gulag taps out, so Daniel Bryan advances. After a quick interview where Daniel Bryan says that he's going to win, because that's how they always go, I would love to see one of these post-match interviews where it's like, how do you feel in the tournament? I'm going to fucking lose. I'm waiting to see that fucking happen one time. But after the interview, Drew Gulag and Daniel Bryan shake hands. Good sportsmanship. All right, cool. Backstage, Sonya Deville says that next week we're going to have a mixed tag team match with Otis and Mandy Rose versus Sonya Deville and Dolph Ziggler. No, God, please, no. 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 After that, Sonya Deville runs down Mandy Rose. All right, I, that's probably going to be the least... In anticipated match for next week. I'm not looking forward to seeing that. We then go on to our main event. Miz and Morrison versus Otis and his tag team partner, Braun Strowman. This is an okay match. At one point, Strowman and Otis do a double caterpillar on John Morrison. That looked kind of cool. Miz and Morrison have absolutely no answer for Strowman and Otis as Braun Strowman power slams John Morrison, gets the pin. After the match, Mandy Rose comes out. Strowman is distracted. Otis tries creeping up on Strowman, but he turns around and catches him. Otis plays it off as a joke. Mandy Rose gets in the ring, and all three celebrate as we end tonight's SmackDown. Tonight's SmackDown wasn't all that great. It wasn't. The only really good match that I saw was the Daniel Bryan and Drew Gulag match. Just about any match with Baron Corbin is sucks i mean it's usually the opponent that carries it but all right and then we had the the really quick match with dana brooke and uh and then naomi that was decent albeit quick it was decent and the main event was all right what i'll do for this episode of smackdown review leave a comment down below what you thought of tonight's smackdown what you thought about this video if you liked it please give me a thumbs up don't forget to share and subscribe i've been fatal roadie you've been awesome thank you very much for watching and remember if it's too loud you're too old see ya